Hey there, science enthusiasts. Welcome back to BioScholar. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of genetics to explore a key process that shapes the diversity of life, crossing over. If you're curious about how genetic material gets shuffled during meiosis, you're in the right place. So, let's get started. Crossing over is a crucial phenomenon that occurs during the formation of gametes in sexually reproducing organisms. To truly understand it, we need to take a closer look at the process of meiosis. As cells undergo meiosis, a specialized form of cell division, they produce gametes. Meiosis consists of two divisions, meiosis I and meiosis II. At the heart of crossing over are homologous chromosomes. These are pairs of chromosomes with similar genes, but not necessarily identical alleles. One chromosome of each pair is inherited from the mother, and the other from the father. Now, let's zoom in on the early stage of meiosis, prophase 1. This is where the magic of crossing over begins. Homologous chromosomes come together and form structures called tetrads. Within these tetrads, something extraordinary happens. Chromatids of homologous chromosomes may break and exchange segments. These exchanges occur at points called chiasmata. At these chiasmata, segments of chromatids are swapped, resulting in a recombination of genetic material. This process creates chromosomes with a mix of maternal and paternal segments, adding a dash of genetic variety. The significance. The exchanged segments may contain different alleles for the same gene, leading to offspring with unique combinations of traits. This is the genetic diversity that keeps populations adaptable and evolving. As the process continues to metaphase 1 and anaphase 1, the tetrads align and separate, carrying this newly shuffled genetic material to opposite poles of the cell. After meiosis I and meiosis II, four haploid cells, or gametes, are formed. Each carries a unique combination of genetic material, contributing to the incredible diversity we observe in living organisms. On a molecular level, Enzymes like DNA recombinases play a key role in facilitating the breakage and rejoining of chromatids during crossing over. It's important to note that crossing over is not uniform along the entire length of chromosomes. Its frequency varies between different regions, adding another layer of complexity to the process. So there you have it the intricate dance of genetic material in crossing over during meiosis. If you enjoyed this exploration into the world of genetics, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button for more exciting content. To learn more about the cell cycle, click on the left playlist. You will find almost every topic related to cell division. Until next time, stay curious.